All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode here of House Flipper. And in today's episode, we are back at our main house where we have our little office, I guess you could call it, one bedroom house. I hate the fact that when you exit the game, it saves your progress, but it sends you back to your to your office rather than keeping you at the place where you were at. I wish it would just keep me there, but we can't have everything we want, can we? Anyways, guys, I did have some exciting news. House Flipper on Twitter has been talking a lot about updates coming out in the future, and they're talking a lot about updating soon, very soon, and doing outdoor landscaping. So I'm super excited to see what they do with it, and I, I really want it to come out, like, quickly so we can play with it around and see what it does. But, yeah, that's definitely the goal is to keep playing and see how many updates they do because I really don't want to end this series because I like playing the game too much. And yeah, that, so I just thought that was some exciting news to share with you guys. And I also, I walked in here earlier and I was like, you know, I could have done this way better. Like, here's the living room and you have to walk through here to the dining, into the kitchen and dining. I could have just put all this on that side and put the bathroom on this side. It would have made so much more sense. <laughs> but you know, it, it still works out the way that I have it laid out now. I just, it just would have made more sense to do it the other way around. Anyways, guys, we're going to head over to the house I was working on that I bought, the house after the flood. Um, I got to get some work on it still. I cleaned up the trash, but it's still dirty as all, like, all hell. So I have to clean up more dirt. I have to uh, plaster all the walls and then take down the walls. Because remember, if you take down the walls first, it'll still think you have to plaster it. So the random pop-up saying you need to plaster will still come up, even though the walls are gone. So always make sure you plaster first, tear down walls second. So I'm going to go ahead and do that work and clean it up a bit, but I'm going to do that during a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, leave a like down below. And without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this time lapse. Guys, I don't know what happened. I seem to be stuck here and I can't move. I just wanted to demolish all the walls in the time lapse like I told you, but now I can't move from here. It's so weird. I've never been stuck before. Literally, I'm hitting WASD and I'm not moving. And now I can't really reach much farther. Can I not take this down? Oh, shoot. That'll be problematic. But I'm like, I'm running out of things I can hit within my circle. See? No, no, but I can't move. What happened? Let's try to exit the game maybe. Let's save and let's see what happens. Oh my God, that's the wrong game. Oh, I clicked on City Skylines. Oops, oops, I didn't want to watch City Skylines. I didn't want to watch, no, hold on. Let me get rid of City Skylines. Let me, let me get rid of City Skylines. <laughs> oh my God, this is annoying. Why did I get stuck? That's the worst thing that could ever happen. Exit City Skylines. Come back to House Flipper. Okay, we're back. Continue. Will I be unstuck? Maybe? Will I be unstuck? That'd be great. Yeah, I'm unstuck now. I don't know what happened. That's so weird. 
Well, anyways, I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep destroying the walls. So enjoy the rest of the time lapse and hopefully I don't get stuck anymore. So as I'm out here, the, okay, good. As I'm out here, I'm trying to put this new brick facade on this house, and so far it's looking really nice, but I'm not able to jump, well I can jump, but I can't reach it from here. I'd have to actually jump and then do it. So I finally got the scaffolding that I haven't actually used before. So it's really easy, you just put the scaffolding down. This is the average size scaffolding. Then, oh, I have to, my hand is busy, hold on, go up. Go down, go down. <laughs> so this is the average scaffolding. Then we also have the big scaffolding, which is huge, huger than this house, and then just our little ladder. So the little ladder. Move up. There we go. Just like that. This this is huge though. Like what house is actually this big? Are there actually houses like that that are this big? So instead of having to use S all the time, you can just look down and suddenly you look down. Can I jump? Oh, I can. Ha! Huh. Wait, can I get on top of the house? That would be so cool. Can I get on top of the house? <gasps> oh, man. I thought I could. So close. Oh, this is so cool, though. So I don't need you anymore. I will need you. Actually, I honestly don't even need this one. I probably just need a tiny one. Like, you're probably big enough. Okay, so the other side of the house that has a high peak is on the back. I could have just gone through the house instead of going around. Oh, well. But I'm going to have to put you here. So then when I get around with the brick, I can just climb up there and do it. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this. Actually, before I go, I wanted to show you the paint choices that I was looking at. So in here, I've settled on this natural beige. Normally, I do the light cream, but I wanted something a little bit browner I guess you could say so I had four colors going on these this one is the one I normally do but it's very purpley this is more gray and a little too dark this is gray beige and then this is natural beige so I decided to go with the natural beige just because it's warmer and it's not as dark as these whereas I could still use these for some accent walls if I wanted to or just go with an actual color so I'm going to do the whole house inside with that natural beige there all the way around after I finish the outside scaffolding and everything, scaffolding, outside tiling and everything. But it's really unfortunate that with all this plaster here, it's creating these little lines in the walls that are kind of glitchy. So I'm hoping I'll be able to cover it up well with furniture so that I don't have to stare at that and get frustrated with how glitchy it looks. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Let me go ahead and get some more work done and then I'll be back in just a second. Alright you guys, so it's been a little while since I last recorded and I got quite a lot of work done, but unfortunately I need to stop after I show you what I did because I am out of time for this episode. So without further ado, let's go ahead and turn around. 
The entire house has now been totally repaneled and has this beautiful new brick exterior. And the inside has had quite a lot of work done as well. It's done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so I did paint all the outer walls the same natural beige color that I talked about liking so much. And this whole area here is going to be the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. I'm going to have it all an open space pretty much with, if anything, maybe separated with these inlets, maybe, but very rarely, just so that we have a whole wide open space because the rest of the house, the other side, is rather cramped with a lot of walls. So I'd rather have this be open, open space. And then over here, we just have a little room to go out the back door. It's going to be the storeroom, so I'm going to have some, like, bookshelves in here and put some food and stuff, and that's going to be it. So, like, not much is going to be in here. And then down this hallway, even though it looks like a hallway, we have this little area here. Although, now that I think about it, since I'm going to put storage here, I might bump this wall back a bit. In fact, I think I will. Let's bump it back to here, I think. That way it gives me more room in the storeroom. And then I don't have to worry too much. Come on now. I wish I could go faster with demolishing. Seriously, this is the one thing that takes up the most time in my life. is just tearing down walls. Like painting goes by pretty fast. Tiling is a little annoying. Like the walls. But um, demolishing for sure is the one thing that takes forever. Oh yeah, this will be much better. So we can put uh, more bookshelves in here. This will be great. Okay. So we have the storeroom. This hallway, even though it's a hallway, it's going to have a desk area here, so it'll be considered an office. Then we have a bathroom here. This is considered a bathroom, and then I do have a separate inlet here, so this is considered a toilet, which I didn't know that was possible, but hey. So we have a bathroom and a toilet. I just wanted a little inlet there so I could put like a painting there or something. And then over here we have two bedrooms that are pretty much the same size. This one's a little bit bigger. And then this one's just a little smaller. I'm thinking like a master bedroom here and then a kid's room here. Definitely pretty small in comparison to most bedrooms I've done with this type of house. But I like it that way just because it gives me a new way of playing around with the same layout. So it's not the same old boring thing I repeat every time. Aside from all this being the same area. <laughs> but this is all pretty different and, I, and I'm, I think I love it. This is really nice. I was thinking this could be an office or a laundry room. But if there's room, I could probably fit the laundry in here now, which would be the best. So then laundry and then office. So that'll probably be the best idea there. But that's, like I said, that's all the time I have for today's episode, you guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below to show your support for the series. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for the best notifications of House Flipper on my channel. Leave a comment if you'd like to comment anything. And as always, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.